Hello, Internet. My name is Ulrich, and this is a quick tour of how you can use the Oxford Down template to write your university thesis with R Markdown. In order to use this template, you are going to go to this GitHub repository, and then you'll want to click this green code button and then click download zip. So that's going to download this, re this repository as a folder on your computer. Then you'll probably want to put that folder somewhere convenient, and then you'll want to open it up. And then you'll want to open the uh, Oxford Down R project file. I'm going to assume for this demo here that you already have an installation of R, an installation of R Studio, and an installation of LaTeX on your computer. So uh, the first thing I'll show is just how to compile the entire thesis uh, into different formats and how that works. So in order to compile your entire thesis, you are going to open the index.rmd file, and then you will simply click the knit button to compile the entire thesis. The output format that's going to compile to is controlled by the settings up here. And you can see at the moment it says thesis formats PDF, and therefore it's currently building a PDF. So you can see in my file panel over here, all of these random files that are being generated by LaTeX as it's building the thesis to PDF. When it's done, like that, then it's going to be opened up. And you can see that we have a really, really pretty looking thesis here. All of this is formatted using the Ox thesis LaTeX template that many, many people have been using at Oxford University. You've got four different output formats. Uh, so this was PDF. The other options are two different kinds of HTML ebooks. Uh, the first is BS4 that I really like. That's uh, the new Bootstrap 4 format from the uh, from the um, Bookdown package. And in order to change between the different formats, then you just change what this line here says into what you want. You can even actually build some multiple outputs by putting what you want in a character vector, for example, like this, uh, which would build to both uh, Bootstrap 4 and to, to, to Word. So here we have the Bootstrap 4 uh, version opened up that I think is really, really cool. It has really lovely, really useful uh, search features. Very nice. You can also build to the Gitbook format, which is a, another ebook output by just typing, um, typing Gitbook here. And the advantage, I think the Bootstrap 4 output is a bit prettier, and I've customized it a little bit with a, uh, a CSS style sheet that's in here. But you can also output to the Gitbook format here, which is cool still, because I think what's nice about this is that you can sort of toggle the sidebar, which means that it's a bit easier to sort of have like an, a distraction-free reading experience in the Gitbook format. And then the fourth and final output here is Word that you can just type by uh, like this. Uh, I encourage anyone who's listening who is good, good at interacting with Word output from our markdown to help me improve the uh, templates for this because there's zero templates be behind the um, output to Word. So it does look a little bit horrible, but it might still be really useful for you to output to Word format if you like to, for example, upload a thesis chapter to Google Docs and then have collaborative uh, sort of feedback on there. But here we have the, um, the word output opened up. So uh, what happens when you build the entire thesis is that the files that you built to are actually going to be put into this docs folder. So if I open this up, then I can see, for example, the PDF here is the one that I built before. The PDF file also has stored the, uh, the, .tech, the tech file that LaTeX used to generate that PDF. We can also see the uh, the Word file here, and then the other files correspond to the HTML output. So you can see that when you generate an HTML file, then there's actually one HTML file for each of the um, each of the chapters. What actually happens when you click the knit button is that all of the different R Markdown files in your root folder here, plus the um, 
are marked down files in any subfolders that you specify in the bookdown.yaml file are going to be stitched together alphabetically into one massive R markdown file. And then that R markdown file is going to be built to the output format that you want.